Thanks. Wash Take your care. hands. Okay. No, we'll wait. That's that. All right. Uh, let's uh, keep it with uh, the senatorials here, from former Senator Tony Atta to sitting Senator uh, Joe St. Augustine. Senator St. Augustine, thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning, Chris. Half a day. Half a day, Sabrina. So we wanted to bring you on just uh, to kind of react to uh, Administration Director Burns' uh, comments that the... Yeah, the response to the letter that uh, he, he sent you regarding shutting down uh, your inquiry regarding the, the double pay issue. Right. Well, but if, if, if you look at, at the way he responded to it and then you have the uh, acting chief of staff saying uh, it's not sustainable. In other words, we know we should pay it, but we can't afford to pay it, so we're not going to pay it. Isn't that... I, that's what I'm interpreting. And uh, it's kind of like... Um, just follow the rule and then move on. If you're saying it's going to cost too much, well, you shouldn't have called everybody else in. And then it wouldn't have cost so much because they don't do that during typhoon. They don't call everybody in. Mm -hmm. Even when we had typhoons that lasted more than a month, you know, the disaster where, where power was shut off, offices were still closed, and they were still recovering. So I don't know what, what the next excuse is going to be. Mm -hmm. But what did you make of uh, Mr. Burns' uh, response to your letter or your inquiry? Uh Basically, the same thing I said on my response is he's kind of short because uh, if, if you look at it uh, on his letter, on the first page, he says um, he signs the rule 8.406C2. Those employees are required to mean, you know, okay, so they're not closed or they're closed, but they're essential or they're, they're not closed, but then on some of the agencies that, that are essential, not everybody's in because they're, you know, they're doing the most, they're fulfilling their financial responsibility to make sure they don't just bring in everybody because just because they need to, they can. It's like, like what GPA and GWA are doing. They bring in who they need to do the job. And if they need a, a, any administrative support, they'll bring them in for the hour or two or three and then send them back home so that, so the bill doesn't run, run wild with them. Mm -hmm. And right now I, Believe the uh, line agencies are the only ones that are getting the short change of it, because uh, I, I need to send you folks a copy of the airport. What they're going to do? There, I think they're they acknowledge they they're entitled to the pay. Uh, sure, there may be some difference, but just the key that they're acknowledging and they, and they may be paying double or is it paying a time and a half? But you know, I, I look at it this way, Sabrina and Chris, is that just knowing that the rule exists. And to make the excuse, we're not going to pay it because we can't sustain it. You should have been very careful on who you bring in to start. And there should have been a plan to start with. And it's obvious they didn't. But isn't there a plan, like a <laughs> pandemic response plan? I, I could, from what I understand, this might even be in there. Well, well, if, if you look at the rule, it says uh, when the government occurs, the state emergency. Um, uh, declares uh, excuse absence for that disaster emergency condition only when an official proclamation of, the, of hazard conditions by the executive order or an equivalent announcement by the governor. She did that. Yeah. She did that part. She she did the first part. Then as we go down on that same rule, you know, it, it goes further on. And then when you go to number two, those are, those employees required to remain on duty. Okay, those are the essential agencies. Shall we pay double? And then as, as it's very specific, essential employees, that's the key. Uh, anybody that, you know, you, you close an agency, but they're essential to come in, pay them. There, there's folks at DOA, there's folks all over the, the different parts of government world. But I, it's just amazing how, you know, uh, Ms. Ed responds and then uh, the acting chief of staff says it's not sustainable. All uh, right. Yeah, they're like, oh, the rule is going to fly, and it's not sustainable. And we're going to have to furlough a bunch of people. Yeah, you know, they add all kinds of mix. And I'm, I'm really waiting for the AG's opinion, because once the AG opinion comes in, if, we, if I need to introduce a bill um, to, to clarify it, I don't know how much clarification you need, but to tell them basically <laughs> you need to pay it, then you pay it. And, 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 if, and if they wanted to get down to, you know, they're, they're starting to scale down, so... Kill down there, your people. Don't yeah, they... to continue to be there. <laughs> but I don't know, Chris and Sabrina. Um, 
you, do you I, I think that the that AG is going to issue an opinion that would be favorable? I think the AG is just going to be like, okay, Governor, what do you want me to say? Okay, well, let's say that. Well, well, I hope he doesn't he doesn't respond in that fashion. Um, <laughs> even though Chris here, here <laughs> you're saying it, but it's it kind of like a lot of people are probably hoping not. Yeah. I just hope that he basically says the rule is the rule. Um, identify who are your folks that are essential, not necessarily the agency, because the agency, you know, other than, you know, certain autonomous agencies, they're essential in general. But it's quite evident that the autonomous agencies have identified employees in their agencies that are not essential eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. So that's good management. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other side, on the line agencies, Maybe that's what they need to do is take a look and say, which one? GPD is essential, GFD is essential, GMA is essential. Probably help to a certain degree, but not everybody. Um, DOA, you, you, you're essential because you know how they're hiring the doctors how, or the nurses or how they're processing the people they need to pick up. If they're not essential employees there, they should get paid. Uh, and then go down revenue and tax. Um, they, they're asking for where's our, our tax refund uh, they're getting ready to kick out the stimulus check you know uh, hopefully next week because they got the money they're just doing a reconciliation of of who might coincidentally get double pay on the stimulus and that's what they're cleaning up and then you go down to DOE they're doing the grab and go the, everybody's in support of that because it takes care of the folks that are hungry uh, those are essential employees why don't we just go down the line and identify who they are and then come up with a total amount and then pay it. Because if you look at the CARES funding, um, she put aside, uh, let me see what page that is. And I, uh, I hope you guys got a copy on the CARES uh, Act budget. I think it's on page three. You see, uh, three of five. Um, related, related payroll expenses for public safety, public health, health care, and human service. 22 million for the executive branch line agencies. Okay, uh, you got that's 22 the, million there. That's for the differential pay. Uh, yeah, but but we need to understand first, uh, Sabrina. If you have a rule, it it you know it's like the law. You you you, you can't trump it with an executive order. You have to comply first with the law, and then if you if you want any amendment to it, then ask the legislature and and say it up front because the law existed before the pandemic, and say that. You know that uh, it could be a cause that may be overrun. And the first thing we're going to respond to this age is that, well, who are you bringing in? And why do you need to bring in people that, or, or pay them all day when they're not really working all day? What do you, you know, think, the, the, what, the, Senator, what do you think of this? Uh, you know, we're not paying the, the frontliners, the first responders, the double pay, but through the governor's hazard differential pay, what we're getting are these unclassified directors, these political hires like, um, Alice Tyron, um, Jack Hattig, Rebecca Rospicio, where uh, the governor's COVID differential pay has created this a system where you have unclassified political hires availing themselves of this uh, COVID differential pay. Uh, well, so what they did, and, and I could see politically, I mean, they're not giving the double pay, but they've made it so that more people are get, getting some type of additional a pay and I don't know I think as a government employee especially as a first responder is not getting the pay that they're entitled to get I think it would just sit wrong of me to know that there's somebody out there who you know uh, is getting additional pay on top of an already inflated salary well well and, and exactly I'm not gonna say inflated but <coughs> they're directors um, really you need a director to be there you couldn't have a manager you couldn't have a supervisor uh, that are related to that same function or that areas they're dealing with. Um, that, that that just amazes me. I mean, you bring somebody on that's making 90, 80,000. Those, those are good folks out there, okay? Don't, don't get me wrong now. You know, Alice is a great person. So is Respicio. So is Attic. But really, you don't have <laughs> anybody in that court. I mean, even assign you, Chris, and you can manage it. You, but you're not getting a director state. Hmm. But just go down the line. There are other folks that could could possibly, unless they can justify that. No, I need a director there. Well, um, why didn't you appoint that director to public health then? Or you know, I mean, uh, what 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 are you doing? And and 
And that would be would be my question is that you and like you said, they're getting such a high pay. You need extra pay. You can telework. You know, you could be at home. You could be watching on Zoom exactly what's going on there at the at the hotels. You don't necessarily have to be there, and then you can give guidance as, as what's going on. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just very curious on on how they justify that you need high ranking officials there. You know, that, that, that doesn't sit well with me. I don't know I don't if know. I was if I was a director making that eighty ninety grand. Probably I might say, you know what, governor. I'm good. Don't give me the COVID differential pay. We're we're good. We're already making a lot of money. You know, this is what we signed up for. Uh, you know what I mean? We campaigned on helping the people. So, you know, that 10, 25, whatever percent, no, nah, we're good. Go ahead and keep it. But nobody's coming out and saying that. Instead, what they're doing is saying, oh, no, they yeah, they're at the risk of exposure. And I mean, there is, yeah. They volunteered. They volunteered. But- and I also think it doesn't sit well with me that you had the governor on one day come out and say, oh, no, I'm not getting it. Uh, Linda's not getting it. The cabinet's not getting it. And then the was it the very next day or soon after they do this executive order? And then, oh, what do you know? Now their cabinet's getting it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's starting to come out of, of, of the closet that yeah. certain people will be getting it. And that's not good. That's never any good when you when you slowly let it. I wonder what else is in the closet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I I try not to think too much about what may be in the closet because, uh, you know, <laughs> is there skeletons, uh, center or a whole graveyard? Well, I hope not, uh, because number one, uh, you know, other than this CARES budget, you know, we still have to deal with um, what we're dealing with the 2020 budget. Uh, you mean the who cares budget? Yeah, you've got the yeah. SES meeting this afternoon. Right. What are you yeah, expecting? Same. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm expecting some answers. You know, I, I, I know, Sabrina, you got a copy of the agenda. Yeah. And I hope to go down the line on that agenda. And I'm really looking forward to the administration responding and and answering all the questions. Because, you know, a lot of a lot of folks are wanting to know, where's my tax refund? Where's my stimulus check? Mm-hmm. And I honestly believe that uh, that uh, Daphne Shimizu, the director, is, is willing and is ready to, to respond. Um, uh, and answer those as clear as possible. Um, I believe that uh, everyone there is going to be able to respond, and, and I hope they're as um, as complete with the answer and not uh, I'll get it to you mm. kind of respond because getting to you is uh, you're a day late and a dollar short. You know, mm-hmm. just just get it to us today at one thirty and be ready. Did the agenda went out. It's, it can't be that hard to fill. Did they confirm? I mean, they, did they, they, everybody uh, got comp- so far, I mean, that we got a confirmation. They're going to be part. They're going to be participating, and we're going to be on Zoom, so they can't make the excuse. They have to worry about the the COVID. Right. <laughs> and and if they and if huh. they were gonna they're gonna appear in person, we could have made sure they were six feet apart from each other, so they can't look at each other's notes. I mean, if that's what they need. <laughs> uh, Senator, are you including are you including the Republicans in your uh, budget meetings? Oh, on the SES, yes. As a matter of fact, the SES, all the senators are included. Um, you know, I, I, I never ignore the Republicans because you know I, I know that I, we're friends. I always tell them you can participate. Even Hold on a minute here. You are friends with Republicans? <laughs> of course. And most of them are my cousins to begin with. <laughs> I mean, I think it's going to be a well-known fact. I think we all know that the revenues have uh, dropped significantly right. into the government of Guam. Are you anticipating anything from uh, any talks about cuts? Well, I, I look at it this way, uh, Sabrina and Chris, is that, number one, the governor already has admitted that it could be as much as $53 million by the end of the year. So um, the Office of Finance and Budget is looking over the budget of 2020, looking at this CARES budget, and if there's anything identified in the CARES budget that was identified in the local budget, we're going to start, you know, uh, identifying them and separating them to the side and coming up and hopefully reach that amount. I'm really hoping that we don't get down to uh, get up to $53 million shortfall. I'm hoping that uh, with the stimulus checks, with all this money that's going to be hopefully floating out soon, that tomorrow the governor's uh, stimulus money is going to come out. Uh, next week, the federal stimulus is going to come out. Hopefully, the following week, the uh, unemployment is going to, I wish everything would come on and just be done with. But, right. And then, but the key is going to be uh, is that you can, you can throw millions and millions of dollars to the population, but if nothing is open, but the grocery store, 
They're not going to buy any. They're not going to I'm going to buy 1200 of grocery. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I'm going to do it. You got to go way do to it spend now. this stimulus. <laughs> Well, see, the beauty is when they get the money, they can just hold it. And then they, they're, you know, and, and that's why the key is going to be if, if, if stores start opening, and I'm not saying money before life, okay, and I'm going to always repeat that. Never money before life. But if the stores would open and maintain the social distancing, the mask, whatever they need to do to open, open so folks can start visiting their stores. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I have a question um, regarding the governor's transfer authority. Do you know how much money she has transferred out from which agencies for COVID? Well, it, it, well what she did transfer, she, there was report that they returned it. Right, that's the you $7 know, million for the quarantine the and uh, it, temporary hospital program. Well, we thought it was a total of 11 but it appears that it was only 7 And then, we're, uh, we, you know, I'm going to ask that question today to reconfirm. What is the total amount? Because if you remember correctly, they first transferred four, and then the second notice said seven, but then it, it was inclusive of the items that they identified they did transfer. So we're going to get a clearer picture this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Exactly what total was transferred and what was returned. And then it's good as returned because to begin with, if you've got no revenue, this is returning it in paper. Mm-hmm. You know but, but as far as you know, then it would make it zero. Is that what you're... I mean, isn't there like a reporting requirement that if the governor transfers money out of the general fund, it's supposed to be reported to the legislature within X amount of days? Yes, I, and they did do that. They did advise us, and they did report it, the first $4 million, and then they advised us on the, on the second round, which was $7 million, but it was inclusive of, of some of the items that were listed on the $4 million. So, And that's why I'm saying we're going to have to get... Clarity there. Okay, but but since say, this the COVID response began, there has been only no that transfer. nothing. That's it. Ex- no, ex- no, except for that, that four I'm million that. Not that I'm aware of now. Uh, not that you're aware of. I like that. So, Asterisk. <laughs> and that's the risk, and that's what we're going to have to ask because, mm-hmm. as the Office of Finance and Budget is looking over the budget, and looking at remember we have access to S founder so we can see what movement is happening, mm-hmm. and then we get we can see exactly mm-hmm. it's, it's like GMH and public health. Mm-hmm. Immediately when that started, they started pumping up. Remember they started pumping up. Now, how much money do they have, and where did they get the money? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, or, or were they using money based on appropriation? You know, it's kind of like you can use so much. Uh, hopefully you don't run yourself dry mm-hmm. of your total appropriation, but. But they were able to survive, and um, they're surviving today. And um, we'll just have to wait and see, and hopefully in the SES they review all that. Because we're going to ask those questions. Uh, how much money was moved, and uh, how did Jim H., and I'll ask DOA that, uh, you know, Mr. Burton. Is um, there a difference between moving an ag- money from one agency to another than, than transferring? From the general fund? I mean, you can move money from one agency to another? Can you do that? Senator? Hello? Mm. May have are lost the, the senator. Senator, are you there? I think Adeloup took him away. They're like, that's enough out of you, Senator. No, but can you? You can move money from one agency to another. Not um, You don't have to report that. I you know, budget, there, fun, that's my week. So, okay, so let's go. Senator? Boy, we lost contact. It's okay. Uh, I was just saying, I think Adeloup jammed the line. Number hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Senator, can you move one agent, uh, money from one agency to another if they, that agency needed uh, uh, financial help without having to report that? Well, well, you got to look at it this way. Um, let's hypothetically say um, GMH needed some money to buy masks or PPE, and Public Health was able to acquire it, mm-hmm. and they got it. Um, I, I honestly believe that they they might. That's not a good practice. Let's start with that. But they they <laughs> might have done that, and I'm not going to say they did, or it could have gotten from the governor's office. They you know they purchase whatever they need to purchase, send it to them, and then they're going to go back and fix the numbers or fix the the you know what they did. But anything is possible. Mm. You know, like the double pay. Um, you're required to pay, but I'm not going to pay you because I don't have enough money. But I'm going to tell you to come in because you're essential. Right. <laughs> yeah. What do, what do you, uh, Senator? What do you make? We got a couple uh, comments here. 
um, <laughs> at, regarding the stimulus and local aid. Uh, Harvey had commented that that twelve hundred dollars is going to pay GPA, GWA, and rent. It's already gone. Um, someone else had uh, commented in here that the purpose of the stimulus was to boost the economy, but this stimulus came too late. So it almost reminds me of trying to perform CPR on somebody who's been dead for hours. Uh, understood, but you know, th there are certain things that happen <laughs> that unfortunately happened that was beyond the control of the governor. Right, right, uh, yeah. You know, so, no, but but the, to go over to back to these comments, someone had said, in looking at this CARES Act budget proposal, Masaya, one can of sardines for each resident who's hungry they don't have any you know other than the, the 20 mil 20 mil the plan uh people are saying you know where's the food assistance which is allowable under treasury do, do you agree with that do you think that our people still need more help well um i, I would have to reach out to doe and find out that's how, how is that movement on the grab and go i honestly believe that there are a lot of folks out there that are still struggling um and 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 you know it, it, it's like it's like um you know some of the folks that, that are that are out there asking for help they'll say uh, hey i need money to buy food you give them money and then you find them elsewhere not buying food like some of them have, that have come to my office before and said that can you assist me with food i said sure we can i said uh how much food did you need he says well if i can get 20 dollars or something i said okay so i have one of my staff take them to the store and we buy the food he goes no i just wanted 20 no 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 we're gonna buy what you need we're not giving you the money for it We'd be very specific. Now the question would be: Is, is if folks are 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 hungry, um, you know, the governor has mentioned, and public health is open to issue out the food stamp. Unfortunately, it's not as fast as we would like it to be, but you know, that's beyond anybody's control uh, when it comes to the process of food stamp. But if you know, there's money on this cares, and if it was intended to actually provide food on the table, the question is going to be: uh, Should I buy you? I'm for you, Chris, but I'll buy corned beef for Sabrina, and then for Jason, I'll buy him corned beef hash. No, he I mean, likes Vienna sausage. Oh, see? Or are we going to have Vienna? catered lunches? Yeah. Exactly. exactly. And, and if you look at the cost of that, it's going to be, the question is going to be, maybe do a care package. With a little bit of Godiva chocolate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you getting those uh, donations, uh, Senator? Do you know anything about some free meals that are get the... Anybody getting free meals? Are you guys getting the Godiva chocolates that they're getting up at um, Civil Defense? No, I'm. I'm, I'm you like chocolate, Senator? <laughs> well, Godiva, that's like top of the line. That ain't no Hershey's. Oh, I, no, no offense, I, Hershey's. No offense. Well, I go to Hog and Dust first before I go to Godiva. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too shabby. <laughs> okay, Senator, I think we uh, run our course. I definitely want to thank we'll be you. Be watching for the the SES meeting. Yeah. Yes, and if you have any questions, feel free, because we're on Zoom. Text me. You got my number. Text me, and uh, as soon as I can read it, without being obvious on the TV that I'm <laughs> reading the text, I will ask the question. You got to give I us our own ringtone, so you know it's us. Oh, no, I, I, have, my, I'm, I have my phone right next to me. Uh, okay. Or, you know, All save right. save Sabrina's number as something else, like you know, so they don't know it's Sabrina. D just don't put it on. Don't answer. <laughs> don't don't don't. Put that. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, uh, ignore or decline? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I I try to answer you folks, but it's just that you know, it's just t timing. Timing's the key. And but yeah. if you do text me something during the SDS, I should be able to ask those questions. Okay. All right. Thank you, Senator. All right. Take Good care. luck. Okay. All right. All right. Wash your hands. More than luck. <laughs> okay. He needs, <laughs> he needs a magic wand. Uh, 943. Let's get uh, Tomas McGlottney up.